And now that's recording. And now that's recording. That's your thing. Huh? You go, that's recording. And now that's recording. <laughs> right? And that's how we start. <laughs> my mouth less cussing my in-laws mad yeah my father-in-law <laughs> made a comment oh well i love and respect him too much to <laughs> we'll just i'll watch it best <laughs> i can <laughs> you got like five minutes in the last one he's like too much cussing and i was like geez give it a chance skip like 30 minutes it might get better yeah maybe <laughs> or worse so when you want to talk about your investments are you on Dogecoin yet? No. You're going to ride it to the moon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Give uh, him, teach a man the fish. He'll eat for a day. Teach a man to buy Doge. He'll ride it to the moon. Well, you, you, know, you teach him to fish. He can eat for a long time. You give a man a fish. He eats for a day. Yeah. But yeah, something like that. No. That's uh, I'm impressed with it, though. I like that whole situation. That mm-hmm. whole thing was pretty awesome. It, it's dropped since Monday. Well, because everybody's five cents or something like three cents or something. Yeah, but I mean, it's only in the pennies, anyways, mm-hmm. right? So, yeah, it's still a dramatic change for that. Yeah. Well, and then everybody, everybody that that I mean, is it because people are just selling? Is why? Mm-hmm. Uh, Elon put out a tweet saying the bigger investors might want to pull out or something like that along those lines, and then it started dropping since Monday. Kind of crazy, last like. Week. How he can control that, you know, because right, I mean? right. everybody's listening to him mm-hmm. on it, which it, he may even own that, you know. But, well, I mean, it, Dogecoin is not him. Mm-hmm. But um, he bought a bunch of uh, uh, Bitcoin. Oh, he did? He bought a bunch. So, and that was like, you know, for all the people that are following uh, cryptocurrencies mm-hmm. were... You know, they noticed it and they were like, well, you want bought a bunch, you know, and that and that's like insane. And I, I didn't look at it today, but I think it was like yesterday. It was like at 44,000. Oh, wow. You know, and that's it's probably keep going up there. Mm-hmm. But and especially if there is another economic collapse, like we have another stock market crash, you know, mm-hmm. housing market crisis, which they're saying is on the horizon. And I don't know. I don't know if it, it won't be the same, but it might look similar. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, if something happens it'll bitcoin will be worth oh yeah as long as there's still internet and power right because as soon as that goes out you don't have that money anymore mm-hmm. and we're trading shells and beads again bottle caps bottle caps <laughs> booze booze save up your liquor but yeah so the gamestop thing was actually pretty cool yeah i was just a week late on that were you well, they've been doing it for a while, too. So it wasn't like it was necessarily overnight. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, the, a Reddit forum that started talking about it, you know, and saying that they were, I mean, they straight up planned it. Said they are going to go after, you know, these hedge funds that were trying to sell on the shorts, right? you know, which is, you understand that? Like kind what shorts are? Kind of and kind of like not. Futures. I mean, I, I'm barely started getting into it and I'm like, just doing my best to try to read everything I can. Well, and that's that's the best way mm-hmm. you're going to learn. But, like, you have to read from multiple sources. So right. you even got to get from, like, the guys that are crying about it, mm-hmm. you know, like that are crying that, you know, the Reddit deal is, like, young people gambling and just taking crazy chances. Well, they were more mad because they were losing their asses right. on it. You because know? Wall Street didn't get, get to collect. Not the way that they normally do mm-hmm. on those things. Which, I mean, you're gambling on a, a company failing, too. Right. Which is that that's terrible anyways like you you, you <laughs> you're mad at somebody else because you're like you're gambling but you're you're gambling on somebody else's misery right they gambled on yours mm-hmm. solely <laughs> like that's what i like about it right you know they get a little bit of their own but uh but yeah you, you kind of have to go from like a, a bunch of the sources that's how i learn mm-hmm. you know is really just reading and kind of going through it it's it's hard to understand sometimes but you can keep up with it i mean like i do my own taxes mm-hmm. probably leaving money on the table, but I'm okay with that, you know? Right. Like, 
I don't mind it, you it's know. It's probably the money you're leaving on the table might be who you're paying TurboTax or whatever. It, it could end up being that, you know. It could be what, you know, I would pay like a CPA. But, I mean, obviously, if it got more complicated, mm -hmm. I would. But, I mean, it kind of already is running a business, but it kind of isn't. I'm already in the books with the business, you know what I mean, yeah. with ordering and what, what we spend. I know what the finances are, you know, like what goes out, what comes in. And it's really just kind of putting it on a spreadsheet, you know. And uh, I'll be honest, you use TurboTax. They, they have it for a business. Right. It actually kind of walks you through it, you know. And maybe there's, like I said, what, I'm, what I probably miss is stuff I don't know that are write-offs mm -hmm. or other things you can do, you know. To, I, I, don't, I don't know that I care that much <laughs> to pay somebody more <laughs> right. money for it to come out even in the end, mm -hmm. you know. So, I don't know. I, I, don't, I know I'm not cheating it i'm not lying right you know, i'm not making up numbers I'm like, oh this number sounds good i'm gonna make this number bigger you know yeah, just for it's not you in the school lunch plan oh that no you, it's not you, that you know that was for fun <laughs> yeah that was for fun when i told him that you know i made five million dollars a year just so i could <laughs> tell him i didn't want it lunch right <laughs> <laughs> no but you know so like learning that for the stock market and like learning what you know what futures are mm -hmm. But it's such a weird deal, man. It, it's so dumb that there is something like that out there because it's it, it, that that's the the criminal aspect to me is it like when it seems so lucrative. But as soon as I started it, I was like, mm -hmm. I literally bought a share and my or started out with fifteen dollars just the play around with or fifty, not fifteen. But um, you go through Robinhood, yeah, do Robinhood, and it. 50 was the minimum just to put into their bank account system or whatever mm -hmm. and split that up. And then like instantly it was like, Oh, you made like 70 bucks. I was like, how the fuck that work? Just <laughs> like, okay. But well, and it's, what it, it's what it's worth. Right. When the, mm -hmm. when the market changes. So as people invest, the stock price goes up. What you bought at, say you bought at $15. That's what your share is worth. Right. Well now when the stock goes up to All of those $20, stocks. Your fifteen dollars share now is worth twenty dollars if you sell now. Mm -hmm. So also it works the reverse. Right. So if they lose five dollars, their then stock is now worth ten. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of the idea with the with the futures is is that they buy they borrow money okay. basically from a broker. They they say, I want to buy this amount of stock at this price. They borrow it from them, they pay them back. It mm -hmm. I actually have it on my phone. I should actually had it to show you, <laughs> uh -huh. but there's, there's this weird game. Let's just to make it lay terms, right? Mm -hmm. Real simple. Anybody that really actually knows it probably thinks I'm an idiot, but whatever, <laughs> right. like go watch, go watch the big short. It, mm -hmm. it kind of in a roundabout way explains it. And it's still is fucking hard to understand, mm -hmm. but basically they plan on the, the stock being worth less in the end, mm -hmm. but what their shares are, it's basically like having an insurance on their shares and oh, then they okay. actually make on top. So the thing is, is that when the stock goes up mm -hmm. now in the opposite direction, instead of going down, their shares are still worth that. Well, now because that they had borrowed the mm -hmm. shares from the broker, they have to pay them back. They have to pay the difference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a $10 share that you buy, it goes down to five. Mm -hmm. Well, they've made five right after they've paid back right all the differences and now everything. yes now if it goes up to 15 mm -hmm. they've got to pay back the original 10 they got plus the five that it gained mm -hmm. well imagine having you know a couple hundred shares right even at five hundred dollars well or at five dollars well you know now you owe five hundred dollars right where if it had gone the reverse you had made five hundred mm -hmm. but we're talking about much bigger money than that Right. We're talking about millions, you know, thousands of shares at a time that they're buying and, and hoping that it goes bad. Right. Or GameStop, where these subredditors jumped in <laughs> and said, hey, they're going to short this. Let's invest and buy this up. And I think it was that was the coolest part was that you had people, whether they knew what they were doing or not. Right which I kind of think a lot of them didn't. They just were like, hey, sounds great. Hey, I saw that movie. It was probably the initial one person that did the post and was like, oh, hey, like, I kind of have an idea. I'm going to school for it probably. Pretty sure that <laughs> guy seemed to be on top of it. Right. Was and it then Wall just, Street Bets or something was I'm, the name of the... Something are you like on Reddit? No, not yeah. really. I, <laughs> it's a weird feel to follow. Uh, I feel like Reddit is like... um 
what was that Jalen Silent Bob movie poster or movie website where they found out they were getting shit oh. on? It was like poopshoot.com. Poopshoot.com. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what Reddit kind of reminds me of. Kind of like the original AOL. Mm-hmm. Stuff but, like that. <laughs> yeah, just people going off on message boards. Yeah, that's what it is. And mm-hmm. it's like a long, you know, thread of people. And then you can comment on that one, which that, that also works the same way in Twitter. Mm-hmm. You know, Twitter is obviously the same thing, but I don't know. I don't get too stuck in it. Right. I had it, and then I realized that this was going on through it. I'm like, well, I'm obviously not using Reddit the right way. Right. Because I could have got in on this thing when they were buying GameStop at $12 a share. Right, and then selling it at 68 or whatever it was. It got up to 400 Oh, yeah. Over $400 a share. 68 was what I saw it the other day, probably. I saw a deal with, like, a little kid that, you know, like news stations are covering this thing, like, left and right, and they mm-hmm. showed one where a little boy, had, his mom had bought him, like, four shares of GameStop when he was little, you know, and like, well, he bought it, you know, like uh, she was, money. she was trying to show him like, okay, this is how the stock market works. You know, you mm-hmm. invest in a company that you believe in this and that. Well, of course, the little kid picks GameStop. Right. And this was this a couple years ago and he had a little certificate and everything. Right. And then, um, when this happened, he ends up like having, I think, he ended up having like five thousand dollars worth right. of money in there, so he sold off like three thousand dollars worth of the shares mm-hmm. and took that money, left the original stuff in there, or maybe even moved it. I don't know. He probably left it in there, but then he ended up buying um, like a new. He built himself a PC, oh, okay, mm-hmm. and something else. But it was like one of those feel good stories on right. the news, you know, of like how this little kid came up. Mm-hmm. So I was like, that was cool. Mom was teaching him a lesson, and like they cashed out, right. Good for them. Mm-hmm. I think on top of that, the sad, this, this is probably the bad thing for me. The feel-good story to me was watching the hedge fund managers <laughs> and everybody in Wall Street lose cry money. <laughs> and be like, this is not okay, you know? I mean, like, it watching was so... Watching the rich lose money. <laughs> God, it was so funny, though. Like, you just see, you just saw how ignorant they were mm-hmm. to that, you know, to just... It, it, like, I don't think they, they heard themselves, you mm-hmm. know, saying the things they were saying complaining the way they were and you know basically in tears about how it wasn't right you know <laughs> there was one guy that was talking about you know the the guys that do the people that are doing this they're, you know they're they basically live in the basement of their mom's house <laughs> and they they don't know how to talk to women they don't like he went on this whole way roundabout thing and it was basically like we got to be on on the lookout for these young men's mental health and their and how their well being, we mm-hmm. need to be more concerned about this. You know, it was like this behavior is just it could get worse. And it's like you didn't give two shits even last week, right? About until, that guy <laughs> until this started happening. Now mm-hmm. all of a sudden, everybody's living in the basement, you know. And on Reddit, all of a sudden is a, is some they're moving out now. <laughs> they're a troll who mm-hmm. has nothing to do with their life but go and play games and ruin yours, like. Mm-hmm. That's not what it was, but there's probably a ton of like college age kids on there that were like, cool, sounds good. Right. Plus the fact that they more than likely took their, you know, $600 stimulus from the government and, and dumped it and put it in mm-hmm. there. $600 of GameStop two months ago it would have been a lot, would have amounted to quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Might have been able to pay the rent at that point. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, the one thing I like about Robinhood is it notifies you like every hour, like, "Hey, this still on it." Robinhood, mm-hmm. I still use it. I haven't cashed out yet, but um, it notifies me like every hour. It's like, "Oh, hey, this is going on. This stock's dropping. This is what this founder is saying, or whatever." Right. The well, you can get that from all of them. Mm-hmm. You can get that on your iPhone on the stocks thing. Right. Like if you if you're looking at stocks specifically. You know, I mean, if they're kind of leading you, leading you in directions and stuff like that, kind of like as a, an advisor, that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that's why there's always articles to see like what what companies are doing, what you know, who who's you know, if they're making some kind of move or they're looking at you know acquiring another one, mm-hmm. another business. Usually, you don't hear about that ahead of time because that's a big move. You usually, hear about that after the fact, right after the merge happened or whatever. Yeah. Like if a big company ends up taking over another one, you mm-hmm. know, like if. Walmart was a takeover Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. You know, you wouldn't hear about that until after the fact. Right. You know, eh, you might hear whispers. You probably didn't hear about Singular and AT&T when it happened. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And a lot of times that happens with the communications, mm-hmm. you know. And 
usually internally they might know, but they're not supposed to say anything because then it's insider trading. Right. And then they're usually, if you have stock in it, or say you work for the company, and then all of a sudden you start buying a bunch or you start dumping a bunch, mm-hmm. like before something happens, you can also pretty much get investigated for that. Like, you know, if somebody turned you in or the FCC was paying attention to it. Right. They'd be like, hey, wait a minute. Or, I'm sorry, SEC. But um, I don't know about Robinhood, though. I wasn't super excited about how they put the holds on everybody on there. I thought that was kind of wild. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like because there's some moments where, like, I look, I want to buy something, and I'm like, oh, well, it's hold on trade today still. And it's I, I, don't, I don't know. Do, do you know if, like, Charles Schwab or any of those other ones had the same mm-hmm. restrictions? Not that I know of. So I actually use Charles Schwab mm-hmm. for, for my individual driven investment account, but I don't, I didn't go on there and check if like it would allow me to buy. Cause I know it was letting people sell, right. but it wasn't letting people buy more stock, mm-hmm. which is stupid. Right. Cause that's what I wanted to do with Doge before it went up two weeks ago or whatever. I was like, eh, like I bought it at three and a half cents or something like that. Are you buying any other cryptocurrencies? Just Doge. And I have a whole bunch of medical stuff. I have like a mass company, um, Cancer therapy treatment. Um, naturally invested in pot mm. because well, yeah, why not? Eight years from now, it's <laughs> probably going to be federally legal. But, well, I mean, that's why they already have those IPOs, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially like a Canada's got a couple. That's one of the ones I'm invested in. The canopy, can- no sundial growers. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, Canada's had a few um, constellation brands, which is uh, like Modelo. Mm-hmm. Corona uh, beer, they um, actually invested in, or they ended up, they were either investing or partnering with, and I thought it was Canopy, which it, somebody out of Canada, mm-hmm. a um, marijuana uh, business. I'm not sure if it was medical or what exactly, right. but they were, they were trying to get into it to, you know, kind of lean into it a little bit, which I think that, you know, especially the big companies like that, they know when those things are coming, you know, right. like that, that's, they have the money for startup and those kind of things, you know, mm-hmm. to to invest in it. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't. wasn't I wasn't too. I you know what? I didn't understand either. I wasn't too excited about the Robin Hood not allowing you to buy. Right, putting restrictions. Yeah, but I also didn't know why. Mm-hmm. You know, like if there was, you know, something from higher up that was causing that, or if it was them specifically. But it was like everything I was reading and seeing was saying that they were doing it on purpose. It was them doing it. Mm-hmm. Well, um, from what I've seen, it was all because of that GameStop stuff. Like, well, that was the only stands. one that they were pretty much doing. But, but and then there was a couple of other random ones like I've seen too. And it's still to this day like there's a couple that I go to buy and I'm like, nope, can't do it, can't buy it today. Why? Hit that screen. I'm not too sure why. Huh. That's weird. Mm-hmm. It just I. Had, Every time I don't really read into it too much, it just says, hey, not today. Like, or like I got a notification this morning and it was like, oh, this company is not allowing the buy right now. And I was like, okay. You leave your money in there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 78 bucks right now. Yeah, it's playing around with it. Right. So if I'm out on that, I mean, I lost money. Well, here, I, w- I told you I wanted to talk about this. Yeah. So play Dungeons and Dragons, right? Uh And we're going to start a new game, a new campaign soon. And since I've been playing with these guys for four years, I wanted to get back to my group and buy everyone handmade drawings. Right. So I found an artist and mind you, this guy's hardcore Russian. The first thing he tells me is like, sorry, my English isn't good. Wait, this guy doesn't live here. He's actually in Russia. No, I found him on Instagram. Oh, right. And talked to him for a good week. You just hit him up to be your artist. Well, he had a page. It was um, something that, like, my news feed was just feeding me. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, I really like this guy. And hit him up, and he had a decent price, but talked him down, to because I was like, hey, six drawings. Like, I'm going to do a lot. Um, <coughs> we talked for a week and everything. Uh-huh. Goes by, and then I finally tell him, like, hey, I got my first commission I want you to do. Here's my um, details. I more or less describe Gambit from um, X-Men. X-Men and... A Naruto character. And he's like, okay. Naruto sucks. It's okay. Dragon Ball Z is better. Yes. Didn't explain that to my son. (laughs) Okay, Mook. Another topic, (laughs) another time. Yeah, I can go on. We'll bring Hayden in to discuss that (laughs) at some point. Right. No, but um, 
So I, I tell him, I was like, I want this. And he's like, okay, well, I only work after payments are done. And I was like, well, I don't know about that one. Like, I'll give you half. That's what I told him. And he's like, no, that's not how I work, blah, blah. And I was like, eh. Okay. Sneaky fucking Russians. Right. Fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but <laughs> so I pay him, I pay him 50 bucks for it, one drawing. And right. um, he draws me up a thing and he sends it off. And it's practically a Jack the Ripper looking guy, like an old English man in a brown coat, not even a trench coat like Gambit or anything. He just looks short jacket. Yeah, just short, normal jacket like I wore yesterday to the ranch. Short <laughs> skirt and a long jacket? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, he draws me like an old English man. And I was like, this is not a Louisiana ninja. Like He's road. from Russia. You don't know. No. What the oh, well, yeah, the artist is from Russia. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. no, no, Gambit's from Louisiana. I get it. But he yeah. doesn't know that. <laughs> Maybe. He doesn't know what Louisiana well, is. Okay, we'll keep on talking. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he, I tell him, I was like, hey, man, like, not to shit on your art or anything. It's a good character, but it's not what I ordered. It's not what I paid for. I was like, one, I asked for a redhead, and you gave me a gray hair, old man, <laughs> and all this stuff. And he's like, oh, okay, well, hold on real fast. And then he adds a, just a Naruto headband to it, like a little <laughs> headband. He's like, does this fix it? Oh, it's <laughs> I, was, I stopped, threw my phone down, and I was <laughs> like, is this motherfucker trolling me? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then That's I, hilarious. I, was like, is. I was like, hey, dude, I was like, putting a headband on an old dude does not fix the fucking matter that <laughs> he's you... supposed to have red hair. <laughs> yeah. Here's a headband. Does this help? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And I was like, this is not it. I started being rude to him, going off and everything. Did you already pay him? Yeah. I had, Cause he said you he paid went, him half or all. No, I paid him the 50, the full. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. yeah, he's going to fuck with you. He's already got paid. Yeah. <laughs> and, we we go off and everything. So what he's like, so what's your problem? And I was like, you didn't draw me the right character. And he's like, well, what can I do? And I was like, if you're going to draw me another character for free and everything, no charge, I want what I paid for. Other than that, you lost five more drawings I would have paid for and everything. And he's like, oh, okay, well, have a nice day later on. Took your money and left. Yeah. Why did you go to Russia? It was a nice artist. He had really good work for cheap. Apparently, <laughs> apparently not. Right. Wait, what, what was the thing he drew actually nice though? It's fairly decent. I'll show you after. It's cool. But um, can we make it like our mascot for this show? <laughs> if you want to use them, I, I paid for them. We got to use them some way. <laughs> but um, so he goes and posts the character, right? What? Afterwards. On after his, you paid it? Yeah, after I paid for it. And, and then somebody else bought it? No, no, no. He oh. put it on his page and he's like, and wrote a big fucking article. And he was like, hey, this is the last commission piece I did um, recently. Um, this character has a sad fate because his owner doesn't want want him anymore, and more or less spilled it out. And it was like a big post of just saying called you out, called me out for being an asshole to him. Then I tried to put a headband on it. He told yeah. me to go fuck myself. But then <laughs> he was saying, too. On top of it, he was like, "Do my clients really think that I only draw what they want? Sometimes I draw what I want. Oh, you got like a real artist. Yeah. <laughs> like some guy thinks he's all that. Yeah, no, you got like a, a starving artist. Mm -hmm. No, that's what his thing says. But he's in Russia. He's probably a starving. That's what you get. <laughs> well, it depends on what part of Russia. Russians are crazy. Yeah. No, I'm, I know now. <laughs> Don't get an artist from Russia or Florida. Well, yeah. Because Florida is <laughs> America's wing. <laughs> And it's our Russia. Right. It's like the equivalent. Dude. But that's yeah, hilarious. That fucking, when he sent the headband thing, I was so pissed. Like, I was going in the work. Maybe I should try to call him about making <laughs> art. No, art. he's going to draw what he wants, not what you want. <laughs> what a dick. Right. That's stupid. So, but he does, he does art for like Dungeon and Dragon and stuff Most like that. Most of his work is, is that kind of stuff. Yeah. What a dipshit. Yeah. And I, it was so funny because, like, I went back through all this stuff and, like, he's never had a problem with anyone else from what his posts seemed like. Yeah. Because everybody else knew to shut up and take the art. No, I oh, paid thanks. for something. I love your spin. <laughs> That's nothing, nothing that I asked for. Right. I want a woman with long blonde hair. And three it's tits. A, yeah, and it's a guy <laughs> with one boob. Right. <laughs> and gray hair and a headband from Naruto. Shittiest. But I got virgin. Jack the fucking Ripper instead of more of a ninja Gambit. <laughs> Gambit Gambit's like a ninja already. Yeah, but he just seems like he does a bow it. staff instead of a katana. And he wears more of a rapey trench coat instead of like a kimono. 
It's not that rapey. <laughs> it's pretty it's rapey. Like tall thing on there. <laughs> it's pretty rapey. I don't know. It, it seems weird that he wears a trench coat with like tights underneath it. Mm-hmm. It's just odd. It's like you should wear a suit. Well, that's like any superhero. I mean, they wear their underwear on the outside. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. That's hilarious, though. Yeah. I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Now I have to go after this and explain to the guys, like, hey, that artist I found and had all you guys give me your details, we're not doing it anymore. <laughs> oh, so they were trying. The no, also I, the, uh, I, I that was your guy, and then the other guys were going to have theirs done, too? By him, because I, I went to my group and was like, hey, like, I found uh, a guy that has a 3D printer. We can get our little figures for cheaper. And and on top of it, if you just pay, like it cost us 25 bucks to get a little mini figure. Mm-hmm. And um, did he make you one? No, no, no. The, well, Sam, um, oh, one, he's oh, yeah. going to print those out for us. Oh, nice. Um, you should have him make you one of this guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, like, why not? Just Jack the Ripper. <laughs> right. Just have it. Well, yeah, I paid for it. Does he have like a bow staff too? No, or he has knife? a little fucking Bowie knife. It's a little one. Yeah, a little Bowie knife. Like, oh, no. I asked for not a Bowie knife. So, like, it's it's like a longer oh, blade. A little bit. It's like a dagger. I want him to have like a dinner fork. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Can Sam do that? Put a dinner fork in his hand. Probably like a <laughs> coffee mug. Yeah, a beggar pan. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Get my money back for it. <laughs> God, I'll make it my guy. I don't even know how to play. That's hilarious. I was pissed. Like I said. <laughs> Well, you get what you paid for, mm-hmm. and you went to Russia. So what'd you get for outsourcing? Hey, I've, outs- bag? I've outsourced for the ban on flags and patches, and I've out of money. out of the country. Yeah, China. Yeah, that's you're that's a dick China. move. There's little kids, <laughs> little tiny fingers. Yeah, they can get paid nothing. <laughs> you're, it's, it's, you're a jerk. Save the babies, dude. Buy American. Well, if Americans didn't cost sixty bucks for. Stupid labor costs on top of what you're paying for. Yeah, I know. So, uh, these people that make gaming tables, right? Mm. They had messed up. They had inside, like, felt lining for their tables. Yeah. And they had messed up on their order. And so, what what happened was, like, their two biggest size tables, they had to reorder everything. Like, the felt <laughs> lining. Yeah. And cut down the rest of what they had to fit the other tables. Right. And it was going to cost them, if they did it Amer- American, like manufacturing, for each felt sheet for one table. Right. It was going to cost them like $78. And, but they're doing like millions of orders because they were like record breaking Kickstarters just oh, this last year. Right. Like first. This one. is a D&D gaming table. Mm-hmm. Um, Wormwood. Right. They're, yeah. they're a badass company. You okay. should look them up. They do YouTube stuff, too, of them all making their stuff. And oh, nice. They're really charismatic. That's Real cool. good people. But, um, yeah, they they it was going to cost them, like, something like that. But then they compared the price point to um, China, and it was, like, 60 cents. Like, 60 cents for one sheet compared to American-made, like, $78 for one sheet. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It was the only place they could find it? Yeah, well, the, that's what, like, American-wise, like, that was the cheapest. Right. And then... Like, just standard, like, hey, this is a company first shot in China. Yeah. Uh, see, that that just seems like something we should, I don't know how you change that. It's our, our market has just been fluctuated so much back here. And right. It's, gone, it's crazy. That's why most people outsource. Well, it, it's been that way for a long mm-hmm. time. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, well, and I, I do know because that's, you know, $15 an hour minimum wage right? for everything, which is not what it should be. You know what I mean? But that's why it comes up. That's why everything comes up. But they're assholes. Buy American. Don't be a dick. That's what you get going to fucking Russia. You lost $50 for nothing. Could have put that in the You donated Doge. $50 to his vodka habit. Probably. That's it. Should have put it in Doge. You should have. You'd have $140 in Doge. Now it's a 90. Right. Or whatever you have. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be smart with your money, dum dum. Mm-hmm. Don't put it in Doge and don't put it in Russia. <laughs> that should be. That's why I keep on losing. <laughs> that's the lesson. Russian Doge. <laughs> Russian Doge. That's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you think. It's not what you wanted. <laughs> All right. We're, we decided what we were going to call these. 
things, these questions and rants. I don't know. Weekly, weekly wine bags. <laughs> yeah. We were going to name it after a day of the week, but what's today? Monday. Monday. Yeah, we did like on a Wednesday last time, mm-hmm. I think. I don't know. We had to come up with some clever. Put it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, leave us a, <laughs> drop us a line. Give us your ideas. Send some art, please. Not Russian art. <laughs> Send you 50 bucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you're the artist you choose. <laughs> no, I choose. I paid. I'm sorry. <laughs> These old customers not always right. 